let me take this opportunity to welcome all of you to this uh, tutorial this is us prime software limited and us prime software limited is a company based in nairobi we've been here for over 20 years and we are based in westlands lower kabete road our offices are in spring valley business park that is at the block a first floor today i want to take you through a module within the positive erp and this module is the accounting module like you can see there and uh, the accounting module has several sub modules when actually you open it and uh, as you can see that is how this module actually looks like it is user friendly now you can see like we have the purchases here and then we have the sales but under the purchases you have the sub modules and then we have the sales and then under the sales you also have sub modules which will go uh, we will we'll look at it in the other other videos and then under we have the inventory under the inventory we have other modules here that if you follow up with our videos you will be able to know which other packages which other mod these sub modules how they work and uh, how they can be of great benefit to your to your business now today i want to show you how you can actually create supplier accounts within this module and how do you do that first of all you go to purchases here and then from purchases the suppliers here you just click suppliers and then you get this window this is where now you are able to create all the supplier supplier accounts within the the accounting module and how do you do do it that we have these small boxes here and these small boxes they are actually alphabetically lined okay now if your supplier begins with an alphabet let's say a when you click a then you say new when you say new then from here you just put the first letter of your supplier that is if it is a and then if it is a then the system automatically will give you the the code within the system the supplier code of that supplier then from there you are able to to actually indicate the supplier's name like for example aura enter enterprises limited so that is the name of the supplier you can indicate and then of course you say okay so you find your name of the, the, the supplier's name will actually appear here and then at the same time you'll be able to see it there then from here you are able to indicate the, the address let's say for example the address is PO box PO box 259 yeah I will just indicate my home box there 259 Kusero that is where Kakamega Kakamega <coughs> Kakamega County okay and then of course your mobile phone you can indicate there as per your mobile phone and then if you have mobile phone number two you can also indicate there as per your mobile phone number two and then for example if it is an email you, you can say there that is your email okay you can indicate the email there and then from here you can select the town if it is the town is i can say here Quisero. that is my hometown eh? and then here you can just put your telephone number if you have any there you can indicate the telephone number and then you can indicate also the telephone number two if you have any okay you can indicate telephone number three but most of the time if you've actually indicated your mobile mobile phones and those ones that maybe you are you you, you normally use to conduct this supplier then there is no issue of indicating these other ones as long as you've indicated one or two that is fine and then you can put the contact person there contact person maybe you can say it is this man okay you can input the person that you communicate with or, or or the person that you normally communicate with maybe it could be the supplier here himself or it could be one of the pointy employee that normally communicates with your company when ordering things you can have contact person one or contact person two maybe you can say it is this guy here 
Bob, that is the contact number, number two. And of course, if you have all these telephone numbers, you are not limited. You can indicate if you have, you're using the fax number, you can indicate. You can put fax number one or fax number number two. But it is not necessary. As so long as you've indicated the the, 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 the most important details, that those are the ones that are, are actually uh, in, needed. Uh, for example, here you can indicate the VAT number. And then also you can indicate maybe also the the pin the pin the pin number you can say maybe this is their pin number according to the law you know when you're doing a trade with somebody you need to know their pin numbers or their vat numbers of course for suppliers they need to have that and then of course here you can put now the payment details for the payment details here you can define which currency do you deal with this supplier he may be an international supplier you're dealing in dollars though so you can indicate dollars there like now here yeah, dollars if he's a he's an international supplier whichever currency or if it's a kenyan you can indicate that is kenya shillings and then of course you can indicate which bank you will want actually to to address your checks to to this supplier and of course the account title aura enterprise and then there you can say bank name maybe you can say bank name it is still maybe aura enterprise okay and then um bank name or you don't indicate our enterprise you indicate the name of the bank okay eh? like now there we've indicated kenya kenya commercial bank okay and then here you can indicate account number zero whichever like that account number and then once you've you've input this this is what you do here you can say if the supply is allowed to be paid advance payment you can indicate that tick to show that you you are actually authorizing this supplier to be given a, an advance payment but if you don't want to then you leave it like that so payments there are times that you may be forced to put some payments on hold maybe because of some the sub, some of the suppliers are very tricky they may not actually supply you the things as you had uh, agreed so there you can just indicate their payments on hold and then you can you can indicate reason as to why you are you are putting these payments on hold. maybe you can say until final supply is received maybe you can indicate something like that Okay, so the, this is this is this is just a, a, an, 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 an overview of what you, you need to do. So of course there are also other controls here, like if, if there are purchases, you can indicate those purchases. And if there's nothing you want to indicate here, you can just remove from that there. At the same time, also with the purchases, you can also indicate reasons why you are holding these purchases. At the same time, also if it is a GRN for this supplier, you can also indicate why you are holding this GRN for this supplier and of course including even credit credit notes on hold receivables things that you are receiving from this client and then of, of course those impacts on hold then from there you are able just to save here you click save and then you update at the same time if the supplier is a service provider like for example is a water supplier like uh, nairobi waters or or kenya powers and electric power kenya powers and lightning or it could be even safaricom in terms of internet services and all that or whichever services that maybe you are receiving from a specific supplier then you are able to indicate the details here now detail number one will be if it is the meter number if it is a water meter number or electricity meter number or the telephone number maybe there are these internet phones you can indicate those telephone numbers and all that with their serials and then you can also define you can define if it is a meter number here and then from here you can put that service code service code is simply the the meter number and then from here you can indicate from which branch if it is the headquarter or if it is a different branch there you can indicate there and then you just say okay you click it okay there then it will appear from there so once you do an update here so every time you receive a bill from these suppliers you are able to receive those bills and post them into the system i'll show you how this the bill will be you can be posted in other other tutorials but as of now this is just the only way you can create supplier accounts within the within the erp system that is the positive erp system that is just the only way and it is a, as simple as that
now at the same time also there are this supplier price list if you want to indicate if there, there is an item you want to know about a supplier but this one now we will discuss about it uh when we reach at an at an inventory stage there we will discuss about it i'll show you how this supplier price list works when we are at the inventory state but as of now that is the only way you can actually create the supplier accounts within the positive erp otherwise thank you very much see you in other tutorials and other videos please check on them so that you can know more about the accounting module within the positive erp positive erp thank you very much